So what's happening now with AI in medicine? A new breakthrough. Welcome to the AI Guide, where we focus on the human impact of AI. Google, this past week, announced a major new breakthrough. A few weeks ago, they had announced Gemini, their new general purpose LLM model, and said that it performed as well as better than GPT-4. Well, now Google makes the world's best medical AI system by tweaking Gemini. One Silicone Doctor to Rule Them All is the title of the article and hat tip to Axos for this one. Google Research, Google DeepMind, Google Cloud, and an alphabet company called Verily have built MedGemini, a version of the Gemini family of models customized for the medical domain. The Gemini family of models does extremely well on a huge variety of tasks, medical tasks, due to three key advances. Number one, figuring out how to use test, time, compute, and web search to improve answers. So what does that mean? That means this thing is hooked live to the internet. Number two, fine-tuning on some medical-specific data. Three, effectively using long context windows. So what are the results? MedGemini was evaluated on 14 medical benchmarks spanning text, multimodal, and long context applications, establishing new state-of-the-art metrics on 10 of them. So that's 10 out of 14 and surpassing the GPT-4 model family on every benchmark where a direct comparison is viable, often by a wide margin, Google says. Some of the highlights include a 91.1% accuracy on MedQA, that's medical questions and answers, right? Over 90% accurate. Here's how they did it. The most interesting research idea here is how they enhanced the model's ability to use web search through self-training and introduce an inference time uncertainty guided search strategy within an agent framework. So putting that in plain English, that means that the model searches in real time on the internet for what it's looking for. Here, what they do is set up a process whereby the model filters its own answers for confidence and then uses a search engine to help it get more data to improve its confidence. This iterative process involves generating multiple reasoning paths, filtering based on uncertainty, generating search queries to resolve ambiguity, and incorporating retrieve search results for more accurate responses, Google writes. So Axo says this is really interesting. It reflects a broader recent trend in AI where AI systems have become smart enough to know what they don't know. And you can use this to get the model to double check its own work and proactively gather data via search to give it more confidence. This kind of autonomous ability to proactively spin compute at inference time to improve answers is very important. So this is a big breakthrough. An analogy would be a person telling you, actually, I'm not super confident in my answer here. Let me see if I can dig up stuff on my phone to help me give you a better answer. Of course, that's going to lead to better stuff. Medical specific data sets also help. Alongside this, Google also fine tunes MedGemini on some medical specific data sets. Are those Slate VQA and Path VQA, which are open ended and closed ended visual question answering tasks in radiology and pathology, respectively? So what are they training MedGemini for, really, based on that comment on radiology and pathology? It's diagnosis. They also used ROCO, R-O-C-O, radiology image captioning tasks spanning multiple imaging modalities, including CT scans, ultrasound, X-ray, fluoroscopy, mammography, angiography, PET scans, and magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. So that's most of the major scan types that they have trained this thing on. 
Google also used something called PAD, P-A-D dash U-F-E-S dash 20, which is Diagnostic Labels and Patient Clinical Information Designed for Dermatology Image Classification. They're making this model more and more general purpose, right, to cover a wide range of symptoms and diagnoses. Next, they use MIMIC-CXR, a radiology data set comprised of chest x-rays, their corresponding text reports, and a set of discrete labels that denote the presence of 13 abnormal radiological conditions. It's also known as cancer. (laughs) So here's why this matters. This is a step toward general intelligence and in an attempt to give better answers. As Google said, look, 10 years ago, all of this stuff was basically a pipe dream. Computer vision was just barely able to draw bounding boxes around stuff. And the notion that you'd be able to talk about arbitrary medical tasks using a mixture of text and images and even handwriting to a single system and the system would do well, sometimes better than human beings, would have seemed wildly far off. Some might have even described that as a clear signal of general intelligence. So they're saying this is a step toward AGI. And yet here we are, and companies like Google are building big generic systems like Gemini, then showing that with some careful work on top, they can convert a general purpose, general system into a world-leading purpose assistant for a very well-studied domain, medicine. Yes, MedGemini has shortcomings, but we've come amazingly far in amazingly little time. And the key thing is that its substrate is itself generic. MedGemini relies on the same thing a bunch of other advanced systems do, a sufficiently large-scale and powerful generic generative AI model, of which there are several developed by several different firms now. So what does all this mean? It means that we are getting closer and closer to an AI doctor, one that can diagnose accurately on its own based on test results. But of course, you still have to have a doctor order the test in the first place. So this is automating the back half of a doctor visit, right? The first part with you seeing the doctor in person or on video and describing your systems and them deciding what tests to order. That's still all a doctor. But after that, an AI can diagnose and recommend treatment. So this is huge. It's halfway to a full doctor. So thanks so much. Take care. We'll see you next time. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. We need your financial support to be able to go to TED AI and other world-class AI events and bring you live updates. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.